Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for end of day's trading session, Wednesday, 23rd of August 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so finishing numbers for uh, European equities the FTSE 100 finishing around 7380, uh, more or less flat for the day, whilst the European index is suffered. Uh, and, the, and the hands of the euro, shall we say. Uh, it certainly seems to be some sort of uh, uh, speculative game being played at present with regards to Mr Draghi and his Jackson old speech, whether it'll be dovish, whether it'll be hawkish. And it certainly seems to be the uh, the leaks certainly seem to be coming. OK, so one minute leak is bullish, next minute it's, it's hawkish or dovish. And, and obviously that has repercussions for the European equity market. So the DAX finishing down 55 the CAC 40 finishing uh, negative 40, 16. Uh, the FTSE MIB certainly under pressure as well. IBEX and the stock 600. So European equities overall uh, in the negative. And that certainly was uh, was exasperated to a large extent by number one. Obviously, uh, the uh, the strength in the euro certainly hurting with Euro GBP hitting an eight month high, if, I'm, if I can recollect. Let's just go back to my stats here for the Euro GBP. Let's just see what uh, number that is in terms of the uh, historical record. If I can recollect Euro GBP, do I have that? No, I don't, unfortunately. Okay, I don't actually have that at present. So, okay, so I don't have the stats for Euro GBP, unfortunately. But yes, for what I know, we've hit, we've reached a high, uh, quite a significant high as well. Okay, so again, Euro GBP certainly hurting. Uh, the uh, the strength in euro overall certainly hurting the eurozone. Okay, in terms of uh, PMIs, stronger PMIs today uh, certainly helping the eurozone to a large extent until uh, the very end when Mr. Weedman certainly weighed in with regards to his anti uh, QE uh, rhetoric, and that certainly uh, helped or so it certainly hurt the uh, European equities. Okay, in terms of uh, other economic data, we had WPP certainly uh, sending the FTSE spiraling lower, although we have recovered now on the back of a weaker sterling. Sterling actually breaking below the 1.28 handle, which in turn obviously has helped the FTSE 100 recover the, the lost uh, gains. Okay, in terms of WPP, you can see here we certainly pushed lower. We hit a pivot low of 73.65 before we actually reversed. We eventually closed that gap at 73.95 on the FTSE as well. As you can see, in terms of the uh, Euro USD, we've certainly pushed higher on the back of. Uh, you can see here we we, we sold off. And then we reversed. Okay, so again we sold off on the euro. Euro DAX pushed higher, CAC pushed higher, etc. Then we started to rise in the euro, and then obviously subsequently markets were, uh, started to fall. So everything is inverse uh, the euro, and that really is uh, obviously uh, dictating Mr. Draghi's uh, movements uh, and uh, his potential future uh, forward guidance. Now he did have a speech today. Uh, nothing really was gained from that speech, and therefore uh, the euro started to uh, move higher. OK, and also Mr. Weedman weighing in as well. OK, uh, other than that, I just recollecting now, other than that, nothing of any major importance. Obviously, European PMIs today, they all came in more or less on the stronger side, uh, therefore helping uh, cement the European growth record. In terms of the US, we had mortgage applications, certainly lower, new home sales, certainly lower as well. Uh, manufacturing PMI came in weak, but the services side certainly came in stronger. And then also oil uh, data certainly came in on the weaker side as well. Uh, and therefore, uh, overall risk net, net negative. Okay, in terms of Mr. Trump overnight as well, his uh, his rally, uh, his one of his rallies certainly was uh, spewing his uh, normal bigotry, hate, hatred, racism, uh, Nazism. Call it what you want. He's an extremist and a radical, and basically he was spewing his hate, and that certainly hurt the uh, the U.S. equities today overnight, and obviously into the European session too. Okay, so German DAX at present, you can see here on 60 minute chart, topping tail. Okay, 12,270 resistance, certainly holding, so a lower high. We have two unfilled gaps now an unfilled gap at 12,060 and an unfilled gap at 12,015. So watch out for those. Okay, 10 minute chart on the German DAX. We are now coming into potential support here at 12,160. Okay, so watch out for 12,160. Your next potential support is seen at 12,120, and then you have gap fill at 12,060. Okay, so watch out there. Daily chart is indicating a diagonal trend line resistance. In terms of the French CAC, let's move on to the French CAC now. We actually closed the gap before we started to reverse towards the end of the session. Uh, Mr. Macron, bearish news for Mr. Macron certainly isn't having the, uh, the, the, the effect it should, or the negative effect it should. Okay, given the labor reforms there, certainly have uh, have stalled to a large extent as uh, his uh, 
popularity rating certainly plunges okay so for the rest of the session we had lower lows and lower highs in the french cac we hit the pivot lower 5107 we still have that unfilled gap to close below at 5080 and let's see if we can close that especially given the fact that the euro usd now is back above 1.18 which obviously is negative for the uh, european equities okay so FTSE 100 daily chart we're still trading within this red candle we need to break above that we didn't actually break above it, but we, we came back and retraced, okay? So keep an eye on the, uh, the FTSE there. And again, WPP certainly weighing on the FTSE to a large extent. Okay, FIB 61% resistance certainly is holding thus far, okay, in terms of the uh, the actual uh, uh, sl slower time frames, the lower time frames. Now, 10-minute chart at the moment, you have uh, 7395 to contend with. Once we get through that, you have 7400. Then the next potential resistance is 7410, and then you have a key resistance above as well a gap fill or gap level okay that certainly needs to close if i can recollect i think it's around the 7430 zone okay so keep an eye on that in terms of the next move above okay so that's where we stand in terms of the foot seas certainly have ever since we built that base at 7300 we've bounced quite sharply and uh, we'll see how the market obviously reacts going forward okay so that's the status quo uh, in terms of european indices again we're at the mercy uh, of uh, mr draghi uh, again, we're at the mercy of currency, so watch out for GBP USD. Now, we're talking about GBP USD. We are now coming into a potential key support zone on GBP USD. If you look at the daily chart here, you certainly have previous resistance equal support. If uh, obviously you get on the back of uh, Freeze and May's uh, U turn again, okay, so again, Freeze and May accepting European Court's decision going forward, and therefore that's certainly in perceived as a soft Brexit, and that, that's a soft Brexit. Uh, sterling is certainly falling so again let's see how the uh, the actual uh, indices perform uh, going into tomorrow again uh, economic data tomorrow for the markets to look forward to let's just give you an insight here uh, market moving events uh, so the uh, thursday session you certainly have uh, jackson whole symposium starting more or less uh, you have some french data business climate uh, individual investment nothing major uh, GDP numbers from Spain certainly will be important. Keep an eye on them. Uh, UK GDP numbers, again, will be quite important. Business Investment Index Services and CBI. And then you have jobless claims and existing home sales from the US to watch out for. So that's your uh, basically itinerary for the next 24 hours. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your training needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.